नमस्ते जय हिंद एंड वेलकम टू दिस एडिशन ऑफ द राइट स्टैंड आई आनंद सुमन कमिंग टू लाइव फ्रॉम द सी एन एन न्यूज एटीन एंड फेडरल बैंक प्राइम टाइम स्टूडियो फर्स्ट अप लेडीज एंड जेंटमेन वी जॉइनिंग यू विद मल्टीपल स्टोरीज दैट वील कवर थ्रू द कोर्स ऑफ द नेक्स्ट सिक्सटी मिनट्स अ वॉर वर्ड्स between bjp mp anurag thakur and leader of the opposition rahul gandhi on tuesday over the caste censors and folded on the floor of the house what happened there after was a full blown war of words between the opposition and the ruling government the nda the top focus on the right stand today meanwhile a high court came down heavily on delhi civic authorities over the deaths of three ias aspirants the driver has been denied bail yet again but no one from the mcd has been arrested yet and the mcd councillor continues to remain incommunicado even days after the tragedy Later on the show we'll have an exclusive conversation with former CBI director Dr. Dia Begeparan former CBI director DR Kartikeyan who flagged off uh, gross failures of the Delhi civic authorities in a 2017 report and this was uh, as chair of a committee that was appointed by the chief justice of the Delhi high court itself an escalation in the middle east Hamas political leader Ismail Haniyeh killed in Tehran Iran supreme leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei has vowed revenge and dared israel that it had provided the grounds for harsh punishment for itself they of uh, the idf meanwhile has confirmed taking down a hezbollah commander too the death squad meanwhile is picking local people and killing them baloch activists are screaming out loud against pakistan's violent crackdown in gwadar these are shocking visuals that have emerged from that region an exclusive conversation with prominent baloch leader mama khader baloch and we are hoping that the baloch prime minister in exile would also join us let's move on to the top story ladies and gentlemen the uproar began when anurag thakur in his speech said that one whose caste itself is not known is talking about caste censors rahul gandhi saw that remark as a direct attack on him even though anurag thakur did not name anybody anurag thakur had said that a few people are accidental hindus and their knowledge of the mahabharat is also accidental Rahul Gandhi responded to the remark saying whoever raises the issues of Adivasi Dalit and the backward is abused I will happily accept these abuses Anurag Thakur has abused me and insulted me but I do not want any apology from him he added you can insult me as much as you like but we will pass the caste census in parliament Prime Minister Narendra Modi praised Anurag Thakur's speech in the Lok Sabha terming it as a must hear a perfect mix of facts and humor exposing the dirty politics of the INDI alliance PM Modi wrote on X The government has been reminding the Congress of the former Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru's anti-reservation stand right from the beginning. Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman also reminded Rahul Gandhi of a 1985 interview of his father, the then Prime Minister Rajiv Gandhi, who had expressed a very strong views against reservation. Senior journalist Alok Mehta, while referring to Rahul Gandhi, stated his caste politics won't work. He is either confused or wants to become a communist. Mr. Alok Mehta should be joining us any moment now, but here's an excerpt of what happened in Parliament on Tuesday. मुझे इंसल्ट किया है मगर मैं अनुराग ठाकुर जी से कोई माफी नहीं चाहता हूं मुझे कोई माफी की जरूरत नहीं है मैं लड़ाई लड़ रहा हूं जितनी आपको गाली देनी है मैं आपसे कभी माफी नहीं मांगू मुझे आपकी माफी नहीं चाहिए आजकल कुछ लो तो लोगों पर जाति का जनगणना जनगणना का भूत सवार है सर सर मैंने कहा था कि जिसको जात का पता नहीं वो गणना गणना की बात करता है मैंने नाम किसी का नहीं लिया था Joining us now is senior journalist Alok Mehta ji. Alok Mehta ji, namaste. This is Anand Narsimhan. You were the one who had the conversation with Rajiv Gandhi ji back in 1995, uh, 1985. With the, we've got the headline of that snippet and also that picture of you sitting with him. In those days, perhaps prime ministers were more approachable and were uh, open to conversation. But what did Mr. Rajiv Gandhi say at that time? And how is that in variance with what his son's position is today? You see, uh, Rajiv Gandhi was very modern in that sense, <laughs> and even Mrs. Gandhi days because he also joined after the Sanjay Gandhi death. So uh, I think, uh, and he was a pilot. He was a working person, mm. and that's why he was not coming for politics only. Just he, he thought that the modern India, what even the Nehru visualized, then he thought that I will, I will do something like that because he was an engineer and he was a technocrat too. So that's why when I interviewed him in March, and uh, because the Became a prime minister in October, but after 31st October, so in few months time, hmm. and because earlier also I was meeting him, so he was very frank. He said, "He, he the election ka daira, but because there was a demand at the time also after the Mandal Commission and all, hmm. and he was new, so people were demanding the states because there were elections in the states also. 
so badly was in favor that if we come uh, like in Hindi, HTC used the Buddhu Shabd. Hmm. It is ka daira badhaya gaya. That's why I'm quoting in Hindi. Because in English, if you say idiots, what yeah. Nirmala ji mm-hmm. mentioned, I'm thankful that uh, Finance Minister uh, Nirmala Sitharaman mentioned my interview. But mm-hmm. because sometimes in translation, people think the objection. Yeah. But I think because it was not, nothing mean, but it's a Buddha mean, if you are not a intelligent enough and you are competing, I, I have a copy of that article, you. sir, Alok yeah. Mataji. It is yeah. dated the yeah. 3rd of uh, March 1985. Yeah. That's when the conversation yeah. is. And in this, it says, Arakshan ke naam par buddhuon ko badhava nahi. Why did he yeah. say this? Yes. Yeah, that's why. Because he thought, he always felt it like that, that people should come on the qualification. But he was not against the SCST reservation. He said in the constitution already there. But you want to expand the reservation. That's why he felt then the people who are more intelligent, more educated, and when they compete hmm. and for any examination, and if they will dominate, then how the intelligent person will work? Because the less educated or less intelligent person become a more senior, and then you have to work. If somebody doesn't know a French and if you somebody become a head of department of the French department, how he will do like this hmm. on the basis of the reservation? So, as a frankly, he was informally also earlier, we used to talk when he was the Prime Minister. That's why he was very openly said, Ki, to kya hoga? Buddhu log a hmm. Buddhu domain. I have quoted, it was a tape recorded now, though don't have that time to tape record. But even then, I have used this interview, even in my book, collections of the book, where the Mrs. Gandhi interview or Narsi Ram interview and all interviews are there. Hmm. So, that's why I feel in the, uh, it is got the right chance, and that's why you must be having this copy. Hmm. So I thought that it should be a Rahul Gandhi. That's why it's a shocking because in the election time also, in my commented in uh, journals and the written also, that why he's talking about the caste system. Because from Gandhi or because of my, from my family, we say Arisama, Swami Dayanan, he was against the caste system. Rahul Gandhi is a modern man. He wants to do something in future. He's a comparatively young and from other leaders. What? And what because the Lalu Yadav and Malayam Singh, uh, yeah, mm. uh, for Muslim vote, that's why he's talking. Then I felt a hit, his politics should be different. We need a national political party. We need a better position. We need a difference of opinion in our family, our friends also. We have difference of opinion. Jee. But what he's complaining that no, we will do Jati Gajanganna. Without this, we, it will not done. How, how one can think about it, a person like any national party, Regional party, their compulsion, by the caste combination, and even then you prove what Bayavati did. Hmm. She was doing the Dalit politics, and uh, the Dalit, everybody knows what happened to Bayavati. Yeah. So these kind of even the Lalu Yadav, he was also dreaming of her prime ministership. Borders came. Rajiv Gandhi whole life he was fighting against the VP Singh and Lalu Yadav, hmm. and Rahul Gandhi is talking now about the uh, caste system hmm. and compelling that I will come and all over India I will do this. No, what the but until recently, are till if and I know you also follow current day developments very carefully. Until yeah. recently, till Nitish Kumar took this across and then he tried to stick to stitch together this alliance ahead of 2024. Albert he himself came back into the NDA. Rahul Gandhi himself was not very uh, for it. Even Sonia Gandhi ji in the past has uh, argued against yeah. reservation, against caste census. So what do you think is happening right now? Has the Congress Thank turned you. towards communism? Or like you penned your article on news18.com, you said that he's either confused or he's turning communist. Actually, you know, she, he is following the same line what the Maoist used to think. The Communist Party, he thought as a labor leader, if he says, okay, because I'm fighting, you know, same time, on one the caste system. Hmm. And other thing, he talk about the anti-industrialization, anti industrialist Earlier, we used to say Tata Birla ki sarkar nahi chalegi. Now he says Amani Arani ki nahi chalegi. Hmm. These kind of thing is a tradition also. It's a very, very funny thing because we have seen the left parties. Now hmm. only they are considered only in the Kerala. Hmm. Uh, in West Bengal also, they lost the ground. So well, Rahul Gandhi thought he may be because for the people, for the masses, as a labor leader or as a leader for the Kisan, what he's talking, caste system and the ND, anti Hmm. Capitalist, but this is not the era. That's why I mentioned hmm. earlier also in some interview that when Narsi Rao yeah. went there in '93, China was a different. Yeah. I also traveled with Narsi Rao, and I have seen at that time. Now you see the China how different it is. 
Correct. So much uh, trade and economically become a super power in one sense. So when you are competing with China and you are going up again uh, in 50s and 60s, hmm. what the China or Soviet Union was doing. So that's why I feel that he's totally de- taking different because maybe his advisors who never contested the election like Jairam Ramesh and they were saying uh, who lost election uh, several times nowadays. Last election he lost again again lost. Maybe that's why leader. Maybe they are very intelligent. I know very well the, both of them. I know. Uh, but hmm. their thinking just the same formula or if you become a prime minister for the one year for what vp singh did right what you will achieve the more chaotic situation will be there what is thinking that maybe regional party will support on the basis of the caste system right. nitish kumar what you are talking you are talking rightly nitish kumar and because of the lalu yadav is was compulsion and if he even did but he is not so aggressive right. on the caste because he also be, or even aklesh yadav जी से I have to start. Yes, yes, Doctor Nikhil Patel. See, uh, whatever Sir told, he met uh, Rajiv Gandhi ji, and he discussed about the situation at that particular time. And definitely, in any country, if you see the representation of all the communities, should be there into uh, it. So now, when it comes to a reservation, it was a basic objective that there should be a socio-economic upliftment of the people who are not able to reach that particular level and that is what is happening the representation of upper caste into the management of the government is increasing and that is why it has been focused every time that all people should come to the governance and that is why always this point has come now when it comes to uh, bhartiya janata party they are arguing that the congress is this this kind of mindset then i would like to Uh, convey to the to the audience over here that right from the independence we have always try to make the people uh, their representatives and everyone to come to the democratic process and uh, participate in the overall development of the country as well as the caste and community from which they come i myself belong to the scheduled tribe category and i am from valsad origin if the reservation has not been sorted to us i don't feel that i have reached to a level what i am right now Hmm. Correct, but should this reservation today be purely on the basis of caste and not at all of merit? And what happens to what Mr. Rajiv Gandhi at that time espoused? It's a published article where he said that Buddhists' की राजनीति नहीं करनी है मुझे. That's what an educated person, a commercial pilot who's come into rajniti out of compulsion. That's his frank, honest view in 1985. And until recently, Deshratan Nigam. was the congress party carrying the same view as expressed by the lop on the floor of the house or was it similar to what mr rajiv gandhi and also mrs sonia gandhi have espoused in the past yes anand let me tell you uh, when you look at today's politics hypocrisy is ruling the roost and when we see the mass people getting unmasked in the parliament then the real problem starts because some political parties are very desperate because a person who's uh, a member of parliament since 2004 and it is not 2024 uh, has not been able to be a part of governance maybe back door back room governance maybe but not directly and therefore reservation today what we see even uh, the poverty is one of the grounds for reservation where 10% economic weaker section quota was introduced so that people because poverty does not see any caste hmm. and on one hand the constituent assembly and the constitution wants a casteless society but on the other hand people want caste census in the country so everybody's caste should be known whereas it should be people should not be known by their caste it should be an egalitarian society where everybody is equal although we have problems but the fact is this divisive policies are creating lot of problems people do not keep nation first they are not they are only bothered about their own self interest that is the whole problem which is coming out on the open hmm. and that is why the mirror was shown by the you know government government to the opposition benches that you hide your own caste but you want everybody's caste in india to be known publicly to be known and benefits given as per the numbers but the fact remains there has to be a happy balance between those who are deprived in the society and and the merit you cannot leave merit completely out of the 
system and therefore even among the i have seen you know people in certain caste they are very well developed very rich but still uh, you know enjoying the benefits of reservation people who have got reservation once generation after generations are getting reservations despite mm. the, and that reservation is not reaching at the grassroots level so th- there is re- a requirement of serious thought on this issue merely saying caste census just for the purpose of divide dividing the society will not do people no, can the, see the, through the, and the other conundrum is at least remain consistent in your position and if you have changed yes, your position obviously. then be open about it that you have changed your position you can't just you know bulldoze your way in a manner mr alok mehta i just want to understand from you the same people same group of people who took offense to what mr anurag thakur said on the floor of the house ki jinko apni hi jaat ka nahi pata and they said ki how did you insult me and abuse me they are the ones who are advocating jatiya janganana that means they want to ask each and every individual what their caste is to unse unke jaati ke bare mein pucha to they got offended but they are saying we will ask everybody else about their jaati That's why it's so very shocking when Akhilesh Yadav ji he he objected that why you are asking for the jati, you know, and I think maybe Anurag Thakur, I, I don't want to support him in that sense hmm. because there is some time in when you are fighting like in a debate or something you see, you talk about your you don't know about your caste because even I I feel as a Indian hmm. everybody is Indian even the RSS people they used to say I have interviews like a Rajiv Gandhi. Sudarshan ji mm. or the uh, Professor Rajan Singh, they used to say 98 percent. We everybody we feel that they are uh, Indians. Hmm. Hum sabko apna Hindu hi mante hain, balki ye ne not even the Indian, but he says that hum sabko Hindu mante hain, including mm. Muslim. They go to Ramadan, they go to Gurdwara, they go to church. We are not Indian. So in that sense, what I feel that is what Rahul Gandhi is doing, just because he think that we are living in a but in a different way, contradictions. Mm. you know that's why at the time the motilal vora was there you know nand tiwari was there in the uh, in those time mm-hmm. the rajiv gandhi time and the motilal vora afterwards rahul gandhi was not uh, sorry to say now he is no more or ahmed bhai ahmed patel is not there but these kind of people they were not in support of this mm-hmm. chandulal chandrakar was the same chatisgarh where motilal vora was there mm-hmm. i think our friend must be knowing him also Ji. but if you see uh, when chandulal chandrakar became in the minister he was from the backward class and because he has to forced to resign because was a very serious case i am not talking here because he is also no more he was a journalist but even then there was a very serious case because i reported that in october 85 and in uh, 86 january he has to forced to resign one more minister because serious allegations were against them so if you say the caste system then the rajiv gandhi are now is still any other prime minister even the sonia gandhi they used to talk about the board education yes. arjun singh was there digvijay singh he, he, but digvijay singh uh, because i belong to madhya pradesh i know what he destroyed in madhya pradesh development that's why now uh, bjp came again in the power hmm. i think this is the situation that rahul gandhi is not because he is just thinking what nipi singh got how the devgoda got so you see he is in very hurry you see in politics maybe in hurry you get something but this is a short term And no, not just that. Is it in the larger? My, my larger question is: Is it in the is it in the larger interest of the country, Mithul Patel? If you believe reservation helped you, then shouldn't reservation go back to helping everybody who actually needs it, rather than being limited to those who have availed of it and they continue to hold on to it? And that can happen only when you bring in the economic strata into place. The other part is those who get offended when your surname is asked. were out on the streets during the elections asking everybody their their uh, their surnames and mocking them insulting them in broad public using the using the clout of the crowd to try and single out people and embarrass them and humiliate them so they can't try and be holy than asking. down the floor of the house floor of floor of the house they, they that's how they behave with journalists also see uh, i would like to answer your question in uh, two different ways firstly that uh, pradhan mantri himself was claiming that he is from obc and he was shouting obc obc so many times that was the first part hmm. right? but why Second did he do part. that mithul did he, did he talk about his obc background till he was prodded and to say that he is not obc did See, he talk about his caste all through Second i'm I'm, thing, I'm, I'm, yeah. i'm just asking you this let me complete yeah, Sir, I will, please I please complete i i am i'm just very humbly asking you when have these responses actually come only when he was prodded and he was poked about his surname till then had he ever spoken about his surname 
और इस कास्ट जी प्लीज कंटिन्यू द एंटायर थिंग केम व्हेन द मोदी सरनेम वाज स्पोकन बाय राहुल गांधी जी इन 2019 इलेक्शन एंड हाउ भारतीय जनता पार्टी रिफ्रेम्ड एवरीथिंग दैट केस वाज फाइल एंड वी नो व्हाट हैपेंड फॉर 2 इयर्स इंप्रिजनमेंट दैट वी ऑल नो राइट सो दैट वाज करेक्ट एवरीवेयर बाय बीजेपी सेकंड थिंग when it comes to so the in that case who insulted the surname sir who took the surname and then broad brush the whole the wrong, the wrong did they take the names did they did he say names first names or did the person actually take the surname and then take it to the court run has out of taken the, cog- yeah. the court has taken a cognizance and this is not a matter of discussion now but Correct. we know what happened no Asan, I, I, i'm i'm just asking you so just as, okay please continue i don't want to dive this please continue when we talk when you talk of assam the assam chief minister is saying that the demographic structure of my state is happening so Uh, ruthless that i am not able to live or i am not able to uh, die what is happening in my state i don't know so Correct. if uh, this kind of happening things are happening into the entire country even recently we have seen in uh, jharkhand where the mla of congress say that the uh, the people of uh, adivasi areas has been uh, migrated by so many uh, biharis and they are being taken off so now the entire scenario is now challenged by the democratic demographic structure of the entire country so that is why now people are demanding this is the voice but, of but the dr people nikul again we I, want more representation as per our population because we are into a democratic kind, kindly kindly that allow me to interrupt you there sir the issue in assam and the, the issue in jharkhand mr uh, uh, nishikant tripathi uh, nishikant dubey also brought the brought it up in parliament the issue is not about local sir the issue is about immigrants illegal immigrants illegal nationals in our country who are changing the demographic the issue raised by the assam chief minister issue raised by nishikant dubey are all about what has happened in uh, uh, what is happening because of illegal immigration that's different that's different from indian citizens so let's not let's not please uh, mix the two we shouldn't please complete yeah definitely but when it, when it goes the 2011 census is due why the government is not doing the census till date that is the first question to the government second thing now if when uh, the census if, exercise uh, the were whole, being undertaken then the whole movement started with kagaz nahi dikhayenge the whole census exercise was taken so that each person as an indian citizen is denominated and at that time a movement started kagaz nahi dikhayenge census nahi karwayenge and then it was uh, it was t- tilted to another way so over overall is there merit in uh, deshratan nigam is there merit in mr alok mehta's uh, argument where he says either the congress is confused or they are turning communist well uh, let me tell you anand they are not confused it is by design that they are doing design to divide the majority population and do a uh, minority appeasement and go for their votes and we saw that in this particular election mm. everywhere caste senses try to divide the hindus the society well you can have certain alternative formulas without dividing the society if you keep society at the central uh, objective then you don't need a caste senses even our famous of the constitution never wanted caste to have supremacy therefore you must follow either your own congress ideology yeah. which is going on for a long time or you can clearly come out and say no we have left that ideology we do not believe them criticize them they were wrong then take a clear path which the mao is do but exactly. you don't want to do that you you are trying to sail in two boats and those who sail in two boats fall flat on the gra- on in the water and and sink that is what i am trying to tell this is not the time to divide the society the world is facing huge challenges and we need to remain united because india is on the path of becoming a developed nation and to take its rightful place and these are very challenging times in the right. world where india has to be united and have a united face in terms of all political parties but which is not happening today well we i i think anybody and everybody with will stand with anyone and everybody whether they are in government or in opposition the moment they underline underscore the importance of merit the moment they try and say no it's not merit that matters but your surname and your jati that matters then we have a serious problem because this is a very very dangerous narrative that's our our precedent and we've hurt we we as a nation have been hurt because of this in the past we actually dig up his father and his mother in the past were wrong and he is right now is he willing to say that that's another question alok mehta deshratan nigam and dr nikul patel thank you very much thank you very much thank you thank you